Hello guys, welcome to Miss Polari's speech room. We are going to read, this is for language therapy. Uh, I'm gonna finish the rest of the chapter. I did post the pages on the online, on classroom, what is it, Google Classroom, but I'm gonna read it as well. So here we go. All right, you guys, this is a virtual world. We are going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and read the pages that we left off. So let's go over here. We read three and four, so I'm just gonna read the remainder, just like if we were in class. So here we go. All right. Never in all those years did I think like this before. From early dawn until darkness stopped me. I have labored to build the finest chariots any man could make soft-heartedly hoping someday the gods would recognize my worthy deeds and bestow upon me great prosperity so let's look at that word prosperity what is prosperity means success good luck wealth this they have never done at last I realize this they will never do therefore my heart is sad I wish to be a man of means let's stop right there what's a man of means we discussed before it's a wealthy man, a person who has a means to do what he wants to do or she wants to do. I wish to own lands and cattle, to have fine robes and coins in my purse. I am willing to work for these things with all the strength in my back, with all the skill in my hands, with all the cunning in my mind, but I wish my labors to be fairly rewarded. What is the matter with us? Again, I ask you, why cannot we have our just share of the good things so plentiful for those who have the gold with which to buy them? Would I know an answer, Kobe replied, no better than thou. Am I satisfied? My earnings from my leer are quickly gone. Often must I plan and scheme that my family be not hungry. Also within my breast is a deep longing for a lyre large enough that it may truly sing the strains of music that do search through my mind. With such an instrument, could I make music finer than even the king has heard before? So here we look again that lyre, of course, is a musical instrument. And here, um, basically, Kobe is saying that he's, he's hustling. He's hustling to get food on his plate and feed his family. Such a leer thou shouldest have. No man in Babylon could make it sing more sweetly, could make it sing so sweetly, not only the king, but the gods themselves would be delighted. But how mayest thou secure it while we both of us are as poor as the king's slaves? Listen to the bell. Here they come, he pointed to the long column of half-naked, sweating water-bearers plodding laboriously up the narrow street from the river. Five abreast they marched, each bent under a heavy goatskin of water. A fine figure of a man, he who doth lead them, Kobe indicated the wearer of the bell, who marched in front without a load. A prominent man in his own country, tis easy to see. Okay, here we see a man that's, that's he's standing in front and he's holding a bell and five uh, people are walking behind him holding um, jugs of water, their heavy goat skin of water. Now, Kobe indicated here that this man that he saw was a prominent man. What is a prominent man? We discussed that in class. A prominent man is... A VIP, a very important person. There are many good figures in the line, Banzir agreed. As good men as we. Tall, blonde men from the north. Laughing black men from the south. Little brown men from the nearer countries. All marching together from the rivers to the gardens. Back and forth, day after day, year after year. Not of happiness to look forward to. Beds of straw upon which to sleep, hard grain porridge to eat. Pity the poor brutes, Kobe. So this was very interesting. I'm just going to go back up here of what I'm reading. It says here that um, the men that were walking in line holding the jugs of water, 
Um, we know and we discussed these are slaves. And slavery, it has no discrimination. These slaves were blonde, they were black, they were brown, all nationalities and ethnicities. So we discussed this before that slavery doesn't discriminate. Back in this time, three or four thousand years ago, it didn't discriminate on race, ethnicity, or the color of your skin. And we discussed that the reasons that a lot of these um, people were slave was because they were in debt. And back then, if you were in debt, they either threw you in jail or you had to sell yourself or your children um, into slavery. That's, that's how big um, of an issue uh, being in debt was back in the day. Nobody wanted to be in debt because if you were in debt and you couldn't pay it, you, were, you became a slave. Pity them I do, yet thou dost make me see how little better off are we, free men, though we call ourselves, though we call ourselves. Here they're basically saying, you know, these slaves, they're just like us. They call, they're slaves, but so are we. We're kind of both working for the same thing, for food and clothes. I think there is a problem. That is truth, Kobe, unpleasant thought though it be. We do not wish to go on year after year slavish lives, working, 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 and getting nowhere. Might we not find out how others acquire gold and do as they do, Kobe inquired. So here we're, we're kind of seeing a solution um, to their problem. The problem, it seems like that they were what? What were they, you guys? We discussed this in class. They were, the problem was that they were broke. They weren't poor. They weren't rich. But every penny, every uh, shekel that came in went right out. And they were basically living just to have food and uh, clothing. But they found a solution. It looks like, it looks like they want to find out how others acquire gold. Let's see what the solution might be. Perhaps there is some sweet, some secret we might learn if we but sought from those who knew, replied Banzir thoughtfully. This very day, suggested Kobe, I did pass our old friend Arkad riding in his golden chariot. This I will say, he did not look over my humble head as many in his station might consider his right. Instead, he did wave his hand that all onlookers might see him pay greetings and bestow his smile of friendship upon Kobe, the musician. He is claimed to be the richest man in all Babylon, Banzir amused. So rich the king is said to seek his golden aid in affairs of the treasury, Kobe replied. So rich, Banzir interrupted, I fear if I should meet him in the darkness of the night, I should lay my hands upon his fat wallet. So here, let's back up a little bit. We find out there's a new character in the story, Arkad. Arkad is said to be the richest man in Babylon, but you know what? He is a friend of Kobe and um, Banzir. And he was like, hey, what's up? He was waving to them. He wasn't snobbish. He wasn't stuck up. He was just like every ordinary person. Yet he was the richest man in, in Babylon that even the king asked for his advice. And Bansir was like, yeah, he's so rich that if, if I saw him somewhere at night, I think I might steal from him. Nonsense, reproved Kobe. A man's wealth is not in the purse he carries. A fat purse quickly empties if there be no golden stream to refill it. Our cod has an income that constantly keeps his purse full, no matter how liberally he spends. Income that is the thing, ejaculated Banzir. I wish an income that will keep flowing into my purse, whether I sit upon the wall or travel to far lands. Our cod must know how a man can make an income for himself. Does suppose it is something he could make clear to a mind as slow as mine? Methinks he did teach his knowledge to his son, no Mazir, Kobe responded. Did he not go to Nineveh? And so it is told at the end became without aid from his father, one of the richest men in that city. Kobe, thou bringest to me a rare thought. A new light gleamed in Banzir's eyes. It costs nothing to ask wise advice from a good friend. And our cod was always that. 
Never mind, though, our purses be so empty as a falcon's nest of a year ago. Let that no not detain us. We are weary of being without gold in the midst of plenty. We wish to become men of means. Come, let us go to our cot and ask how we also may acquire incomes for ourselves. Let's stop right there real quickly. Um, so basically in this story, um, we know that our cod is the wealthiest man in Babylon. Well, he taught his son, Nomasir, the same secret because he sent his son, Nomasir, to another city called Nineveh without a penny, and he became the richest man in that city. So there's something to knowledge. There's something to knowing how the secret of wealth of how to manage your finances. Well, he, no, um, Arkad shared that with Nomazir. And here, Kobe and Barnsir are thinking, um, we need to ask Arkad. Maybe he will help. So I'm seeing a solution here. They want to ask Arkad how to become wealthy or what is the secret to wealth. Thou speakest with true inspiration, Banzir. Thou bringest to my mind a new understanding. Thou makest me to realize the reason why we have never found any measure of wealth. We never sought it. Thou hast labored patiently to build the staunchest chariots in Babylon. To that purpose was devoted your best endeavors. Therefore, at it thou didst succeed. I strove to become a skillful lyre player, and at it I did succeed. In those things toward which we exerted our best endeavors, we succeeded. The gods were content to let us continue thus. Now at last we see a light, bright like that from the rising sun. It biddeth us to learn more that we may prosper. With a new understanding we shall find honorable ways to accomplish our desires. Let us go to our cod this very day, Banzir urged. Also, let us ask other friends of our boyhood days who have fared no better than ourselves to join us that they too may share in his wisdom. Thou were ever thus thoughtful of thy friends, Banzir. Therefore hast thou many friends. It shall be as thou sayest. We go this day and take them with us. Okay, you guys. So here that we found a solution, right? The solution was that they're going to go speak to our God and ask him to help them to share his knowledge. They're seeking knowledge on how to manage their money and how to become wealthy as well. But there but something else here, the ending of the story is a little different. The solution is that, but the ending of the story is that they actually go and and um and they want to bring their friends they're good friends. Not only do they want to be better, they want to help their friends be better and learn the secret to wealth and how to manage their finances.